Hi, how are you? Hello, fine. I'm Holger, and you? Javier, how are you? Uh, very good here. Okay, this is a different car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a GLC, yes. but a different uh, powertrain, I guess, right? Right. So okay, let, tell me about it. We put a special powertrain in this GLC, so we have a fuser installed. This means uh, it's electrochemical uh, energy uh, source, and we use hydrogen for that. And as well, we have additionally a plug-in battery in the back, which has a capacity of 9.3 kilowatt hours. And, okay. and it has a radio, we can it see It has that. a radio, <laughs> of course. <laughs> we have AC and all the, all the good stuff, but uh, really yeah. this is uh, like so quiet and, and it's on already. It's right? on and you can hear nothing. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So we can start to drive. So we're gonna go. I think the navigation is already set up. So I can load the route. And as you can already hear, there is no sound from the fuel cell or from the electro motor. It's just Work. quiet. So Mercedes Benz has been working with the fuel cell technology for a long time, but now they're yes. already some in production. There was one I remember. The B class, right? That we did the world uh, tour True. in 2008, 2009, eight, something day. like yeah. that. Yeah, consigning with the 125th anniversary, I think, yeah. of the Patton or the first right. car, right? Yeah. And uh, I did. Uh, is located in an area with restricted access. Miami to New Orleans, and I remember <laughs> it was kind of ironic because we had three. B class fuel cell cars, and then we have a contingent of about like 10 sprinters, <laughs> like a huge tanker, yeah. Yeah. and everything. I mean, I know it, it wasn't set, uh, the infrastructure wasn't set for, for all this right. to happen, but now it's a reality, and especially you were telling me here in Germany it's already available, right? right. Widely available. Right. So in Germany, we have uh, currently 70 hydrogen refueling stations. And the end of this year, we will have uh, 100. So the infrastructure is growing quite fast. And with the GLC, we have a very good product here. It's a combination of the fuel cell engine and the plug-in battery. Yeah. Which uh, you were telling me out there, it, it reduces really the anxiety when like, if you don't have uh, a fuel cell charging station nearby, you have how many? Five, 51 kilometers with the battery? Right. You so have about 50 30, 35 miles. Right. And if you are a commuter, um, you can do that out of the battery. So you do not have to do an extra tour just for refueling. Yeah. And for all the short trips, you can use the battery. And if you are, if you have a uh, a solar voltaic system at home you can charge the battery at home yeah and uh, everything is very uh, economic friendly, <laughs> yeah. Eco -friendly. <laughs> and as well uh, what we have here is the only product is water yeah so the hydrogen combines you see that. yeah we see people like putting a <laughs> 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 like if there was a tube that's how we get we water Right. So here we go. We're gonna hit a stretch of the autobahn with yep. no speed limit. So like, right, have fun. Like so I can cars. switch to uh, the sports mode. So like everything that is on the other GLCs is still in this one. The, the only difference is like we are we are being powered by hydrogen, right? Yes, right. We have a special. So you have all train. the technology, all the air suspensions, all all everything else. Yep. Except that difference. So we're gonna hit the autobahn here. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so the sports mode. You yeah. can have fun with it. <laughs> so here we go. And in an electric car, the torque, all the torque is already there. Yes, right. So very fast you, you reach high speed. And of course, there's no speed limit, but there's traffic. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot of traffic jams. We don't need a speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> the speed limit is set by the, by the amount of cars on the road. Right. <laughs> So are there the other models already with the fuel cell uh, technology available so in the lineup? We were focusing on the GLC um, because this is a very popular car. Yeah. And um, there's another one. You yes. see, <laughs> that was pretty fun. I mean, I mean, we don't have the camera standing there, but there, another one just went by, and we could see from the bottom of it. 
like the, the, the vapor stream, coming yeah, yeah. up. It's a vapor stream, yeah. That was super cool. I wanna <laughs> let's see if we can catch them and, uh, and see that again, but decide what is the most efficient way to use a fuel cell or to use a battery. Um, now I switch to battery mode. So this, you means, can see here, yeah. Yeah. this means only the battery, now it's also as well written here, um, now only the battery is used. Um, this is for example for the commuter I just mm -hmm. uh, mentioned if you want to go to work and only use uh, electric en energy and not the hydrogen. Uh, the next thing is the F-cell mode. Um, here the state of charge of the battery stays constant. Um, and the fuel cell system recharges the battery too? Yes, okay. right. This is the last mode. This is a charge oh, mode. Oh, charge. Okay, okay. Um, now the fuel cell charges uh, the battery. Um, this is very beneficial if you go to a hydrogen refilling station and you want to have the maximum uh, range of the mm -hmm. car. Then you can switch to uh, charge mode. Then when you arrive at the hydrogen refilling station, the um, battery is completely filled up and you can refill or the hydrogen tank and then have the maximum of range. Typical customer will use the hybrid mode because it's very beneficial yeah, in the course. efficiency. And is there any special isolation or it's just the same again as the all the other models, just like the difference in the power tank? Of course, we took a lot of measures to reduce the noise. If you have an electric car, you want to have a very relaxed driving and um, you can speak to the passengers in the back without increasing your voice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we put a lot of measures into it. To reduce the noise of the electromotor and as well uh, of the fuel cell the engine, that the passenger yeah. will not hear any technical noise. Quietness or silence is kind of another aspect of luxury. I yeah. mean, once it's like so quiet, you you feel like you're in another level, yes, right? Like right. that's very important. Yep. I think no one, no GLC is as silent as this car. Exactly. Yeah. So. The only noise you can hear is from the wind the that is going the around the car. So we tried in the route to, uh, to show you different driving scenarios. So yeah. this is more a typical city driving, uh -huh, exactly. low speed. And with the autobahn you can recognize that as well at high speed the car is very silent. Take the first exit at the roundabout. Just to give you an impression about the different yeah. uh, possibilities. Uh, what? Straight? Uh, it looks like straight, yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah we're going yeah, back to the yeah, same. Yeah, okay. it's the same autobahn and the autobahn is same. So for now, uh, the, the technology is available, the infrastructure is already available, but uh, still, uh, Mercedes-Benz, I understand, only leases these cars, like to give the customers the opportunity to experience them, right? Because there, I guess, there's still some kind of mental block against this yes, technology. Right. So with every technology you bring new in the market, you have to go over some, or you have to achieve some breakdowns. Yeah. And this uh, rental model, the customer has any hasn't any risk, so he can experience how it is drive with a fuel cell car without investing a high amount of money 
if yeah. you're buying it. Uh, don't get stuck with something that maybe in the future won't work, which will work, but I think it's the, the peace of mind for a customer yeah. is very important, right? Of course, if you have a new technology, there are always some hints in your mind. Yeah. Uh, if you go back to smartphones or something like that, a lot of people thought it didn't trust very, it at the beginning. Yeah, of course. And now we cannot live without it. Yeah. So it's going to be the same with uh, this kind of technology yeah, in the near future. So, in a way, a very similar experience to the rest of the models, all the technology, all the luxury from Mercedes-Benz, but there's just different uh, way of uh, power in the car and very very interesting so thank you very much for the experience and, thank uh, you for driving with me no thank you yeah. for <laughs> having the time and now we're gonna go back to the GLC camp to drive all the other cars